Elisha Clark Malakan took a bus driver to court and won. And although his case stemmed from being overcharged 25 cents, he says it was a matter of principle. It was October 31st, Orientation Day at the Castries Comprehensive School. Malakan says he was accompanying his daughter, who the bus driver charged full price for the ride from Castries to the school. That, coupled with what happened next, led to the court case. Because of the arrogance displayed, I took the vehicle number and any particular markings that were on the vehicle. And the following week, I reported the matter to the transport department. They then advised me that I should report it to the traffic department also. So I pre prepared a report. I then submitted that to the commissioner of police. The case was first heard on October 30th. Malakan says the driver argued school was closed, therefore he did not have to charge his daughter the student price. He says students in uniform are also overcharged when they are late for school. Nobody can take it up on their own to just increase the fares. And the, act, the, the section of the law that regards minibus fares does make provision. It says when someone has contravened, there is a penalty which is a, not exceeding $1,000. So the driver was fined. $850 to be paid by the 16th of January 2009, failure to pay three months imprisonment. And I'm very happy about that. The National Council on Public Transportation supported the charge brought against the driver. Council PRO Lina Sinclair says drivers should be reprimanded when they act outside the law. And for those who wonder why the matter could not be handled by the council, Sinclair says his organization does not have the authority to sanction drivers. We as a national council or even the respective local association cannot legally suspend the driver. We can from our association, but that does not prevent them from plying the route. So we have been asking the ministry for years since the minister was our president to please put laws in place to empower the respective association to take disciplinary action against our drivers. And that seemed to be taken an eternity. We have to work with whatever we have. And that is only the minister, and by extension, the ministry can suspend a driver. Judgment was handed down on Thursday. The bus driver was ordered to pay $850 by January 16th or face three months in jail. Malakan says his victory should serve as a deterrent to other drivers. Many persons may figure, I, am, I bought a case against a driver for 25 cents. But this is besides the point. It's a matter of principle. The loss, the, there's a the law that gives direction as to what the fare is. We have to abide with that. The driver is a member of the Grosile Minibus Association. That association is not a member of the National Council. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.